Peace and greetings, everyone. The Vinezo here. I wanted to give an awesome uh, review of a product that I got in this mystery box. It was like this hundred dollar electronic mystery box of a whole bunch of stuff. <clears throat> um, I didn't even realize how much awesome stuff was really in there. Um, the box was probably over five hundred dollars <laughs> or something, but um, and it was from this like lifelong electrician. He had like all the awesome stuff, Raspberry Pis, Arduino stuff, microcontroller stuff, screens, um, and this was in it. This is a Hyperpixel four inch uh, high res display for the Raspberry Pi. Give you a close up of it. And um, I have it fitted right now onto a Raspberry Pi 4, which I use to run um, Kali Linux at the moment. <clears throat> and um, probably just run a few other operating systems. So uh, let's turn it on and take a closer look at it. All right, so here is the 4.0 inch screen plugged in. <clears throat> and I have it all running off of a uh, 20,000 mAh, I think it might be 20,000 or 40,000, something like that. Portable charger. And this is a touch screen. So let's log in. Yeah, the touch screen is super nice. Um, the screen looks super crisp. I have a <clears throat> Motorola, I think G plus or something like that. Probably like a six inch phone. Um, but just for a comparison, yeah, screen's super nice. I really enjoy uh, the touch screen on it. And, uh, you know, we could just go and look at some different stuff. Let's say we want to run Hashcat and uh, crack some uh, Wi Fi handshakes. But yeah, I mean, I'm just using a pretty typical stylus and um, the touch is super nice. Yeah, and the screen is um, just really uh, thin and I still have the uh, protective film on it. <clears throat> I wanna just keep it a little bit uh, crisp as long as I can. And the backlight is super nice as well. Um, I use this uh, outside and especially at night, um, looks pretty good too. Let me turn the lights off. And yeah, I mean, it's uh, still kind of daylight out, but <clears throat> as you can see, really nice uh, backlight. And I'm thinking about getting a case that uh, encloses everything. So it'd be a little bit more secure. But right now this is just on a uh, metal uh, heat sink case for this Raspberry Pi uh, <clears throat> 4. But um, brightness comparison to, you know, pretty modern Android phone, um, not bad at all. And um, this has been running for a few minutes and hasn't even taken a percentage off. So I'd imagine on a, you know, 20 to 40,000 mAh, um, portable charger, you can get probably 20, 10 to 20 hours, give or take, um, especially if you uh, mess with the settings. So of course, let's do a YouTube test. All right, so let's check out a YouTube short. Now, of course, the video streaming is not the best, but you know, it's uh, something. <clears throat> and yeah, that's uh, the uh, touch screen. All right, so this is the actual display, the Hyperpixel 4 uh, high res and you can get it at the Primaroni site, Amazon. I'll put a link down below. And let's take a quick look on some stats of this. It's a TFT display, um, 800 by 480 pixels. And what's really great is that it has uh, the 40 pin header 
uh, connected already, as you can see. So you just uh, snap it on to your Raspberry Pi uh, 3, 4, uh, Pi 0, um, as long as you got the header pins. And yeah, they have the software you could download and um, there's a lot of documentation, um, you know, especially um, they made a new update. So you just change the uh, config file on the boot and um, this allows the screen to be uh, captured and you can rotate the screen. Um, although I must say, because I'm using this specifically for Kali Linux, um, you got to do um, some workaround to get this uh, working properly. And um, the rotate might be a little iffy, just if you're using um, Kali Linux, but if you're using, uh, you know, the Raspberry Pi OS, they have a lot of support and documentation for that. Um, but using it in the portrait uh, land, the portrait mode is um, good enough for me. Uh, but yeah, please check them out. Uh, Pimeroni, they got a whole bunch of other really cool stuff as well. So that was my quick review on this Hyperpixel uh, touchscreen. I highly recommend. Um, it's really awesome. A lot of different applications. Um, yeah, especially because I want this to be a uh, portable uh, cybersecurity hacking device. Uh, I needed a pretty nice screen. I mean, this is uh, pretty bougie. Um, it is a little bit more expensive, but I think, um, you know, you really can't beat uh, this uh, quality, especially compared to, um, you know, a cell phone, uh, especially if you, you know, you add in maybe a, a SIM card module and maybe a GPS module. You know, you could have a pretty full-fledged, um, you know, Linux-based phone. You could probably even, I mean, not probably, you could put <clears throat> um, the Android OS on here and make a lot of cool uh, communication type uh, applications with that. Um, you know, this would be a really cool uh, device for like a kid so they could learn, um, you know, coding or cybersecurity or uh, just computing in general. Uh, you know, it's a fun little device. You could maybe even make it like a uh, drawing pad, digital drawing pad of sorts. Um, but for my use case, uh, it's perfect, super light, um, really sleek, uh, lots of support. Um, well, just perfect is just to, you know, plug it in and you're pretty much good to go once you <clears throat> install the software. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend I uh, definitely want to try putting this as well on um, uh, Raspberry Pi uh, Zero as well. You know, that go on really perfectly. And you can see uh, the Raspberry Pi is, you know, a fraction of the size. So you could probably have some really cool uh, applications as well if you want to go lighter. Uh, but once again, check out uh, Pimoroni. And yeah, hope you enjoy this video.